cannot wait. I think I'm losing my nasally. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I cannot wait to hear more about her exotic aquatic prowess. Your voice immediately changed. Ooh. I'm sure you've noticed that I have many strange and amazing hobbies such that the average civilian could never hope to take on for sheer lack of creative talent. Trading a fine insect's legs, bottling peak toxic waste to turn into fine wines, generally being part of DIM culture. What is that? I don't know. Do it myself, <laughs> obviously. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that for us peasants. Truly, one of the greatest joys of embarking on a great romance is getting to share your obscure hobbies with one another. And I have been giving some thought to embarking on one such great romance with... Frorg. With me. But tell me, what of her hobbies will she have some great knowledge to share with me? Did you not know? Frorg is the founder and head editor of Exotic Aquatics, the guide to breeding rare fish for... Agility competitions. What? Sure, if you like bingo. <laughs> I, I think the first one's pretty. I think I can get away with convincing about the first one. That seems yeah. pretty pretentious. I hope so. Yes! Exotic aquatics. Why? I read that every month. I got it. Wait, I lied. What's he gonna do when he, fi uh, when he finds out? I don't think he'll find out. I got in my prized turquoise tang, Trixie. Uh, uh, through a tunnel mazed based on those teachings. I had no idea that it was Frog who was responsible for that. Truly, I cannot wait. I think I'm losing my nasally. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I cannot wait to hear more about her exotic aquatic prowess. Your voice immediately changed. Perhaps at prom? Man, you sure hope that Frog actually knows shit about fish. <laughs> <laughs> you say so many ridiculous things a day, you cannot, for the life of you, keep track of which are true and which are lies. You'll be keeping your fingers and fins crossed for her. Meanwhile, you gain plus three creativity. Hell yeah. I know now to nothing about fish, so good luck to me. Do fish pee? Yo, I just blew my nose and it looks like my avatar blew his nose in his arm. Ugh. Oh no. PSA guys, cover your mouth when you sneeze. Player order is decided based on who is most likely to be hiding corpses in their basement. Oh, that's obviously me. Oh, actually, maybe not. I think it, that's that's you. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it too. I will deny to comment on this. <laughs> Let's go. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally memorized. It's the most epic wink ever. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you know how to win over people's hearts. You gain plus two charm. Why do you get charm so easily? I literally have to make like some elaborate battle speech and like lead my team to victory and all you have to do is wink at someone to get some charm. The hell. Cause I'm so charming, you know. <sighs> Please. God, that Over face is so here. cute. Over oh. here! Phase one of Operation Make Liam Popular Again was an overwhelming success. Liam is internet popular. Now we just need to make him real life popular. <laughs> oh what a roast. What Good a luck, roast! Lord. And what better way than by making him Prom King! Um, um, no? What about you and me? <laughs> Unfortunately, when I asked him to run for Prom King, he said, and I quote, Never, 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 not in a hundred years! And that's not an exaggeration, because I've been alive for hundreds of years, and I've never run for Prom King, so there you go! Wow. Which was clearly his cryptic way of saying he wants us to make him Prom King. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. My first thought was to murder the current prom king after establishing Liam as his rightful heir, but I couldn't find any bloodline charts to work from. Just have him drink their blood, and then he'll have their blood in his. Ah, that works. Oh, I guess he's undead, so he doesn't have blood? So, I suppose we must engage in this democratic election the school is holding. <laughs> she said that- oh, you said that with such disdain. <laughs> Now, how can we secure a win for Liam when he is opposed to running or making any, any effort to win? I'll dress up as Liam and give the best campaign speech anyone has ever given. Or pay a million people to vote for Liam for prom king. See, if I continued to have a lot of money, I could probably pay a lot of people just like for the first prompt. <laughs> He'd probably still think you're pretentious, which may yeah. be a good thing. I don't have a lot of 
money, so... That's a great idea! You look just like him! Wow. I'm not sure about that. You squeeze into some skinny jeans, some suspenders, a lot of purple paint, and a sense of smug superiority, and gather a crowd in the auditorium. Ladies and gentle monsters. Oh god. Say, For too long, our school has been ruled by prom kings who care about things. I'm just trying to make a nasally voice like you did. <laughs> <laughs> Caring about things makes you weak. Because what if you care about the wrong things? You sound like a surf. <laughs> <laughs> I, the Indolarian Court, will never be wrong because I don't care about anything. I don't care about my dumb clothes or my stupid man bun or any of you. Yeah, hipsters insult themselves. Huh. To be honest, I don't even care if I win. If I don't, I'll just blow up the school with the hydrogen bomb I buried under the cafeteria. Wow. Okay. That blackmail. You walk off the stage to thunderous, terrified applause. <laughs> you don't even- you don't know whether it was a speech or the threat of extinction, but Liam wins by a landslide. Yeah, just the only Surprise. people who vote for you are the ghosts. Drats and curses. Rumor says I will be elected prom king in spite of my sincerest wishes. Yeah, it wasn't easily enough. <laughs> How horrible to have the love of the entire student body showered upon me. The cold blackness in my soul, which has long sheltered me from my true emotions. Ah, it's falling. It was so edgy. <laughs> I was thinking of like Kingdom Hearts, and they're like, "Oh, the darkness." Oh, <laughs> this is terrible, and I am in no way enjoying it. Oh, still, I should probably pick out a tuxedo, you know, so as to not appear, uh, you know, un ungracious. He's a tsundere! <laughs> You're happy to help Liam pick out a tuxedo. You even help measure his body. Ooh la la. Oh, measure hello. His body. Oh. <laughs> gotta do all those measurements. You can look too fun and plus one creativity on uh, this creative way to get his body measurements. Man, oh. lucky you. All I got was a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> that day you skipped class intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. Oh yeah. But you encountered three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the f*** run security here? <laughs> anyway, you should subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained two boldness. After you finish doing your business, you hear a commotion in the next stall. It'd be polite to just ignore it and move on. Unfortunately, a cave troll taught you manners, so you kick the door open. Miranda and Liam are huddled around some bathroom graffiti, and they seem... Confused. Maybe it's the password to a highly exclusive event. But what if people aren't smart enough to figure it out? And why make it secret? Well, obviously they don't want outsiders to get in. Father's beard, that's how it starts. What yeah, starts? I don't get it either. I don't get it either. The revolution! They're having a coup! <gasps> no, no, it's it's probably like a party or something. Parties? That's exactly what revolutions are about. Are they? I'm too young to have a revolution. You're not sure why this random piece of bathroom scrawl is so important, but this is a great opportunity to impress them both. You confidently tell them. Isn't it obvious? It's an exclusive download code for the internet's hottest multimedia dating sim, Human Prom. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Or that's Polly's number. Hmm. I don't know. I think Polly's number might be fun because, like, that's like Polly's. Oh no! No! Oh no! A dating sim? That's so last decade. You're in a dating sim. <laughs> too old to be cool, but too young to be vintage. Last Damn. decade? That was the second anniversary of the third shooting of the Revolution's Eleventh in Command. It oh, can't God. be a coincidence. No, I think that's. I think you're reading too much into it. I'm calling father. You hear a plane. It flies by, and in a second, a fairy treehouse bursts out in flames. Fairy dust falls down on your classmates. The ash of your mistakes. A glittery reminder that you're responsible for innocent fairy deaths. Oh, this no. one's on you, literally. Miranda's dad charges you for the rocket. You lose two money and one fun. Fine by me, I'm okay with being poor. <laughs> Liam and Polly aren't alone at their table. They're flanked by two beefy hobgoblins in school security uniforms. What, do these two have bodyguards now? They aren't bodyguards, they're food guards. Hmm. Principal Giant Spider found out we weren't eating during lunch, so he assigned guards to make us because he thinks 
<laughs> Sophia's like guards to us because he thinks we have an eating disorder. You're a ghost. <laughs> and we do have an eating disorder. It's called being dead. Except it's not an eating disorder. It's an identity and a lifestyle. And you can't make me change that. Death style. Ooh, whatever. The point is that they won't let us leave until we've eaten our food. Which will be never. And I have a meeting of the Smug Superiority Club to conduct next period. I can't be late. <laughs> that club exists. So many <laughs> clubs exist at the school. This is a great school. If you could just figure out a way around these food guards for us, I'd be super grateful. Like, in a sexy way. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say no to her. <laughs> Time to enact your fiendishly clever plan. But I must go with Liam. I'm sorry, Polly. I love you. Aww. Please understand. I romanced Aww. you in a previous life. <laughs> With all the artistic subtlety of performance artist Marina Abramovic, you pour Liam's food onto Polly's plate and through her lap. No! This ah. is literally the exact opposite of what I wanted! Oh, poor Polly. Good lord, what a tableau. A ghost bewildered by a mountain of unwanted food. This is perhaps my most daring food pick yet. Doesn't tableau mean table? Tableau is also like a scene. You guys are really throwing me under the bus here. Which isn't cool, because being thrown under a bus is totally how it died. <laughs> it is, though. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Polly. I have clearly consumed all of my food, quite honestly and forthrightly. Look at that smirk on his face. They instantly believe Liam's ruse. Liam whisks you away to the afternoon meeting of the Smug Superiority Club, where you spend hours practicing your sneers and gazing in into each other's eyes. Oh, nice. I will gaze into your eyes every day. Well done, co-conspirator! Operation Make Liam Popular Again is a routing success! So the name that all that remains is for us to wait for prom and celebrate our- Your deception? Oh no! He found out! I knew it was too good to be true. My idiosyncrasies are remarkable, but they aren't marketable. <laughs> This was all a cruel joke, wasn't it? A bet between two popular kids that they could make an outcast loser into prom king. I'm popular? Well, I guess so. Well, guess what? The circus is over and this clown is climbing into his tiny car and going home. You got a tiny car, buddy? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Along with like... <clears throat> Along with like 12 other tiny clowns, if the metaphor holds. Which it doesn't! It was a bad metaphor. Goodbye! What? No, Liam. I wasn't trying to be mean. I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't even have bones. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. You might check that affirmation later. Oh, fish sticks. If we don't do something <laughs> to fix this, all our hard work and subterfuge will be for naught. But how can we make amends? Surely not with some sort of overwrought dramatic gesture defying all logic. You tell Miranda not to worry. You've seen plenty of teen rom-coms. You know how this part goes. Have I seen a lot of teen rom-coms? Apparently. You need a grand romantic gesture. Race to the airport to confess your feelings before Liam boards his plane. <laughs> or pay a million people to spell that I'm sorry so it's Villian from space. Wow. It's Villian. It's visible from space. But Once again, I don't many... have money, so I'm going to go uh... for But this is very cliche, huh? It sucks not having money, eh? Yeah. Nice, oh, so charming. charming! Yay! Wait, how did you know Liam was about to board a plane? Are you stalking him? Maybe. If you are, that's fine. Isn't that what all romantic comedies ever have taught us to do? Anyway, you find Liam in the International Terminal at Spooky Airport, waiting in line to board. You pass through airport security by telling them you're there for a romantic gesture. Because airport security may, might say no to terrorism, but they can't say no to love. <laughs> yeah, that's you're true. You're too late. I'm going to Bel Bel Belarus. Be Be Belarus. Be 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 Belarus. I don't. I don't know. Where my calculations have revealed that nobody likes me, and I can go back to being unpopular. He's so edgy. You <laughs> grasp Liam's cold, dead hand in yours, and with perfect sincerity, tell him what he means to you. Nothing. Oh. Don't you see? You say, looking deep into his eyes. You don't need to flee to Belarus to be unpopular. Because you will always be unpopular in my heart. Which is, Whoa. coincidentally, about the same shape as Belarus. Wow. Charming. 
I... I don't know what to say. Mainly because I don't know what you're talking about, but if I don't understand it, that must mean... It's... It's art! You said art to me! Oh, art! How could I ever dream of leaving you behind? So artistic. He's like orgasming over art. Mm. <laughs> All right. If it makes you happy, I'll return to Spooky High School and don that heavy prom crown. Even if it pisses off the Mooey Mouse. <laughs> but only because I know that no matter how popular I get, there will always be one person who thinks I'm only so-so. Why does he have a fetish of being, like, not great? The people in the airport line clap and cheer, clearly not understanding anything you two just said to each other. Liam accompanies you back to school and you gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Also, you should visit a, a hospital, since your heart being the shape of Belarus can't mean anything good health-wise. Probably not. All right. Yeah, maybe not. I got so much boldness, but I can use with some money. Let's be charming. <laughs> <laughs> That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. This is all I do, and it's how I work out. Look at those muscles. <laughs> at one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince him not to throw the ball at you. With a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives, the player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of that moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. Wow. You lose minus five mercy, a stat that might be useful in Monster Prom sequel, but isn't now. And you gain plus two charm. Did I just do the whole it. narration in Liam's voice? I don't think so. Alright, alright, cool. I wonder if that is a stat in the sequel. Maybe we shall find out in a future episode, future video on <laughs> Mooing Mouse. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day. I hope someone can share in my joy. My great aunt, me, sea me, monster, me, me, me. unholy terror, Mick Kraken face, O Cthulhu, <laughs> has received an award for her hard work to with her work with shipwrecks. So hard. McCracken face, huh? <laughs> He's now one of their leading causes. I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the postal service will go near her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time-sensitive missive. Why is a letter of congratulations so time-sensitive, you ask? Well, uh, it, it's... Because of, well, you see, it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions right. to, to, to do something congratulatory for herself, you know. Sure! Just get her the letter. There's something fishy about this request, but you've never let that stop you before. You come up with a foolproof plan. Fishy, huh? Hire Scuba, the underwater taxi service, to deliver the letter for you. Oh, shoot, I don't have money. Don't. Dynamite the dynamite the toilet, dive into the sewer, and swim there yours. Oh no. Oh no. You might have to go yourself. <laughs> oh no, am I gonna die? I hope not. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright. Oh yeah, so bold. Yeah, look at me, I'm bold. If you want something done right and there's absolutely no way to pawn it off to someone else, do it yourself. You grab the stick of dynamite you won from Damien in a game of multiplayer solitaire. What? What? That is just <laughs> and head to the bathroom. From an environmentalist standpoint, it's probably not great that the school sewer system leads directly to the heart of the ocean, but it's great for your purposes. You swim all the way to the lair of great ant sea monster unholy terror McCracken face O Cthulhu, who you must admit looks fantastic for a beast of a certain number of centuries. <laughs> you give her the letter and crawl back up the, the toilet before you can find out what she means by stay for dinner. Oh god. Oh, it's a good thing I'm bald and I'm going to the gym a lot, eh? Yeah, it's good you escaped. <laughs> a few days later, you see the fruits de mer of your labor. Thank you, oh. Thank you so much for getting my letter to Aunt C. Monster. She said she would act on it immediately. Act on the congratulations that I sent by thanking me, which she did. So it's all over and nearly wrapped up now. Nothing further happening here. Yep, seems entirely legit. Glad you swam down a toilet for whatever above-board operation is going on here. You gain two charm and one boldness. Hey, how did this happen? It turns out I'm stacking the, the, the stats I needed from the beginning. That's great. That's good. The monster prom draws near. I am going to ask Liam, because that's Liam. who I'm going to ask out Damien. Yeah, but I yeah, think next time. in the beginning I just got a lot of creativity, and I'm like, 
I know for a fact that's not what Damien likes. Hmm, do I want the, the hot rod, the prince of hell? Or do I want the sexy ghost? The hairy, lovable dork? The... Business monster that will destroy you for your money? Yes, the rich cougar. The lovable <laughs> princess Miranda? The nerdy Liam? Or, that's me. Yeah, you can uh, go to prom alone. Oh, let's go for my sweet Huzzah! princess. Yeah. Let's go. All right. How ironic. Who could have foreseen this? Liam and Froric, prom royalty. Well, good for you. Ho 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 ho! We did. It was all our plan. We fought for love and love won. Liam is popular again. Huzzah! Yay! Anyway, after all these years spent avoiding cliches, this doesn't feel as bad as I imagined. So authentic. <laughs> Maybe doing a 180 the degree turn from cliches is good, but it. <coughs> I choked on spit. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, making a 360 degree turn from them. So disruptive. At that moment, Miranda becomes <laughs> distracted by some other wacky plan and leaves you with Liam mumbling to himself. Such a lovable dork. Prom night arrives and the two of you decide to embrace all the cliches from slow dancing to actually prom having king. fun. After the Aww. creation- Oh, he's prom king! Liam admits oh, he's having a great time, which is causing him to reflect on all the cliches he avoided all these years, which he could now embrace. Like she's Aww. a background too! Aww. Oh, that's so nice. Then he puts his hand over yours and says, his cold dead hand over yours and says, <laughs> <laughs> And you know what the biggest cliche I've been avoiding is? Love. And I don't even care how cheesy that sounded. I hate this. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy, but I hate this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the way you said that. <laughs> Boy, that was cheesy. But you know what? You don't care either. All right. I think... Prom? Sure! How could I say no to my beautiful accomplice? Huh? What do I mean by accomplice? I mean, it was clear all this time, right? Um... I stole some eggs from that sea monster, then you <gasps> first cooked an omelette and you took pictures of the water polo team eating it! <gasps> and remember when we totally stole the addresses of the whole team from Principal Giant Spider's computer? Oh no! Such good times! Then it was just a matter of delivering the pictures and the addresses to the sea monster, who, by my calculations, will soon be hunting down all of those unpolite peasants. Oh no. You know what? They deserve it. They rejected me, and I yeah. am here. It has always been clear that you do not reject Miranda Vanderbilt. So right. Anyway, it was sort of all on them, right? Yeah. Death to the water polo team. Oh no. It has been so sweet of you, my charming knight in shining armor. Yeah, that's me. Damn. <laughs> you feel a bit bad for <laughs> Just like, damn. <laughs> you feel a bit bad both for being an accomplice to multiple manslaughter and for feeling weirdly aroused by Miranda's ruthlessness. Hell yeah. But love is blind. So a date it is. You have a delightful evening and in the end, isn't that what counts? Isn't it? <laughs> By the end of it, Miranda even invites you to her house to show you the corpse of the water polo team, which she's had stolen from their funerals. No with Miranda oh. Oh. oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Hello, oh, my lady. Boy. I would die for her. Oh, boy. You're still troubled by the fact that it kind of excites you. But obviously, Miranda isn't troubled about being excited by a successful, merciless vendetta. So you end up celebrating your victory and feasting over what's left of her enemies. Best at impersonating a plague of a plate of spaghetti. What if is, idiots could fly, like? this- I don't know. What is that like? W moist. <laughs> 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 Liam's quote, if idiots could fly, this place would be an airport. Ah. Darn. I don't get it. Roasted. It means everyone is able to fly, because everyone is an idiot, so that's why it's an airport, because people uh. can fly. Because everyone can fly? Sure. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Liam honed his most admir admirable skill and got a job with it. Oh, look at him. Hipster got a job. He now designs Instagram filters. Miranda got a job being princess of her kingdom. Well, uh, 
which was actually kind of her job already. While you don't see her complaining about it, Vera built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into lots of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? For those three weeks, uh, the monster prom seemed larger than life. And then it was gone. Just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in what in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. How, what did you think about prom? I loved it. I'm excited that we got two secret endings. I enjoyed it. Um, I feel like, okay, so it's... <laughs> for all the viewers, sorry. Um, I've actually played this game and gotten all the secret endings before. <laughs> but I feel like every time I play this game, there's always something fun and new. Like, I, I guess I haven't gotten all the events yet. But it's just like, it's just really fun to like, play again and again and again. Even if you've already played it before. And you can always romance different people and like, different options. Like, it's just, it's just so fun. So what do you think? Definitely really fun. I had a really fun time voicing all these quirky characters with you, including flirting with the genocidal Mer princess. <laughs> now what made this run through perfect was unlocking that secret ending with Brenda. <laughs> wink wink. Oh look! That's you! Yay! I can picture happiness with you. Oh that's so There is also Monster Camp that came out, so please look forward to that. We'll definitely be playing that and having a blast. Alright, and with that, we're signing off. Hope you enjoyed, and if you liked that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Peace!